everyone, and welcome to Threat Thursday. This week, we are looking at Egregor Ransomware. Here, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and simply click Create Campaign from Threat. We give it a name. We can change anything that we want, but just for simplicity's sake, we're going to start it. In this screen, we have created malware files that you can then download and execute. We also have direct download links if you would like to fish someone and have them click on it. We're gonna download a 64-bit executable that was created just for this campaign. We can execute it. And there we see the endpoint system, in this case, my machine, has now connected to our enterprise command and control server. It will now go through all the steps of Egregor and tell us what was successful and what was not successful. As it runs, let's go through the campaign details to understand what's really happening here. This attack establishes an HTTPS connection through the internet to our Scythe server. It then goes through and performs a number of steps that are the same as the egregor ransomware. One of the things the egregor ransomware does is it checks the language that the target system has and makes a decision based on that. In this case, we're going to check the language with running a registry key query. Then it obtains information about the target system, such as who am I, taking screenshots, loading sysinfo, it identifies the antivirus product through PowerShell, the DNS server through PowerShell. It creates scheduled tasks. And then down here, it gets to the point where it executes the ransomware. Scythe performs ransomware emulation in a safe manner. We first create a new directory, in this case, inside the user's desktop, where we put all the malicious files. We then create new files. In this case, we created 10 5 megabyte files that are Excel, and we also created a link file. Since this threat actor does that as well, it also creates a dtb.dat. Then we compress all of this information in clear text and exfiltrate it out to our command and control server. This is common from some ransomware groups that perform double extortion. They steal the information and then they ransom it. Down here, you can see we are encrypting the files that we created. We are downloading a ransom note, and then we are cleaning up after ourselves. We're deleting the scheduled tasks, the directories we created, and all the files. So we leave the system exactly how we found it. Now, anytime you execute this, it will go through all of these TTPs and give you a result. As for reporting, we can view this report and how it maps to MITRE ATT&CK. Here you can see the MITRE attack mapping for Egregor. It has gone through and done a number of different uh, TTPs or adversary behaviors. And the ones in red are the ones that were successful in the eyes of Scythe. And they were not prevented by any endpoint or network detection technology. With the Scythe platform, it's extremely easy to emulate an adversary attack in your environment. 